Well, um, the Orbanda um, crater was a, a bit of a, a gift. Um, the geologists who were working on it uh, around the south side of the crater were drilling some holes for gold and they saw some very unusual rocks and, and they had in the back of their mind that, that, that this really didn't fit into anything else they'd seen before and they, they thought initially that this could be um, the result of a meteorite impact. Uh, the significance of, 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 of this discovery is that uh, they're quite rare. Um, you know, a lot of the circular features that have been proven to be uh, meteorite strikes, um, you have to go through a, rig a rigorous process. You see a circular feature usually from space or aerial photography or topographic maps, and then you go out and you collect rocks, you analyze them, you look for telltale signs of, of high pressure impact. So this is, this is the same type of rock we were seeing in the core, and, and there was a shatter cone right at surface. We were pretty ecstatic and euphoric. Because um, meteorites impacts are one of the things that, that draw us to become geologists and usually as children we see movies about asteroid impacts and earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and, and of course meteorites. So when we saw it we were like kids in a candy shop, we were pretty excited. It, it, it doesn't pay the bills, it wasn't gold, um, but in terms of the scientific discovery it was pretty exciting. We, we haven't dated the fossils yet but I've got a, a bit of the, that's the sediment there. We can see there's some plant fossils here. And so uh, uh, we have uh, another uh, paleontologist from UWA who's going to be working on this plant material and actually looking for microscopic pollen in here to, uh, to get it the date on when the crater was filled. So that'll give us an upper age limit. Um, but if we look at, at the rock itself, so, so this is the, the smashed rock, bedrock, with little droplets of glass. So if we can uh, date some very microscopic minerals in there, um, minerals called zircons, um, and, and some other uh, minerals that, that, that have been reset during that high pressure, high temperature event, um, that will give us an age date plus or minus a couple million years. So probably if you, if you put all, all the nuclear ener energy um, all the, that was released um, by testing from humans, you'd probably get something that was close to the size of the Orobanda crater. Um, and uh, so you are talking about a huge amount of energy, um, but, but it's that five kilometers across thereabouts is small compared to the one that wiped out the dinosaurs in uh, the Yucatan Peninsula and the, at the end of the Cretaceous, uh, the Chichilum structure, and that was 150 uh, kilometers across. So, so much bigger, but it, the effects on the planet were, were widespread and, and, and devastating. But by killing the dinosaurs, it, it created space for, for humans to <laughs> evolve and take over the planet. So, yeah.